everyone, welcome to the Horror Rev. I'm Travis Bruce, and today I will be reviewing a brand new release theatrical movie, um, Inside, starring William Dafoe. This is um, a movie that kind of flew under the radar. I don't know why they didn't do more press um, for it and advertisements, but, you know, I'm a horror geek, so I get any horror movie that comes out in the movie theaters, I'm pretty much on it. So um, this movie pretty much starts off with um, William Dafoe. He is a art, a high-end art thief, and he breaks into this um, New York high-rise condo where um, this the the owner of the condo owns all of these priceless art pieces. So he breaks in to steal the art pieces, and magically he gets locked in with no way out. This thing this condo is a fort and it's very secure so he's locked in and now William Dafoe he has no communication for, with the outside working on limited water food in the house he has to survive quite a few days and figure out how to get out this is a great movie um, let me go with the positives first William Dafoe's character um, in the movie has so many different layers. I mean, he is a, such a layered character. You watch this character go through insanity, um, not having food, the temperature is constantly increasing in the, this condo to, I guess, the way over 100 degrees. It drops down to freezing. It's just you watching this character go through living hell day after day, no food, no water, once again, trying to find a way out. If I, you couldn't put any actor, an actor in this movie in that role, and they would have did a better job than William Dafoe. By the way, William Dafoe has looked like the same. He's looked old. He's like Morgan Freeman. Like I remember, like probably the first movie I've seen William Dafoe in, one off the side track, was probably Platoon in the eighties. He literally looks like the same person. He looks. He's always looked old. Anyway, love him as an actor. He was great in this. Um, also, this movie is not something, it's not something new, um, because there's been movies like this, Cast Away, um, I can't think of one anymore off the top of my head, but, you know, somebody's stranded, and they have to figure out a way to survival, even getting down to the, um, get, becoming desperate and having to drink their own urine and stuff like that, but this movie brings a whole new spin to it, and it makes it exciting. By the way, I, I was never a Cast Away fan. Um, least favorite Tom Hanks movie. This movie keeps your attention. You get to watch him just go through each day. I mean, he has no human interaction. There's a security cam in the room so he can see from outside of the, of the condo facility and um, the lobby and so forth. And he starts building connection with, with like the maid and the security guard. It's just an interesting element. The um, cinematography in this movie is amazing as well. The lighting, um, while you're seeing him going through hallucinations, just the visuals, it's just a beautiful, crafted movie. The negatives, for me, would be, I would have liked to find out more, or they which they would have wanted more about the owner. Um, it gave you a hint that this owner, there was something about him, there's something twisted and dark about him. Um, with no spoilers or anything, but there, there was a lot of weird stuff going on in that condo, and like I wish they would have dived more into who was this owner, why was his place to set up the way it was, and why was a lot of this weird stuff in his condo. Second thing is the ending. It is one of those open-ended endings where. It wants you to come up with your own conclusion on how it ended, you know, and each person, each individual can creep in their mind, you know, how this ended. I don't like that. I like a definitive ending when it comes to a movie. Um, I don't like to have to use my imagination. Well, I wonder how this ended. Do he survive? Do he get out? What? I like a definitive ending. So those are my two uh, big negatives. Overall, this is a great movie. Uh, this is not a movie for everybody to see. Um, 
it's an artsy movie, so if you're not like into it's a psychological horror thriller, uh, there's a lot of graphic scenes in this movie as well. Um, this is not a movie for everyone, but I'm a person, I'm a big movie person, even like indie and artsy movies, so I would definitely give this one a 3 out of 5. Um, would definitely see this movie. I enjoyed it. And William Dafoe, I mean, the guy, I mean, I can't think of a movie that I don't like to William Dafoe in. You know, when I come up with my top 10 actors next time, I, William Dafoe has to be in, in, in that list. I've never thought about it, but I love everything he's in. Anyway, guys, um, leave something down in the comments. See you got any questions or uh, if you got any ideas as well. Uh, also, if you like what you see and hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm putting out new content daily. Also, check, it out, check us out on Instagram and TikTok as well. All right, guys, I'll see you next time in a horror room. Take care.